my channel and today I'm back with a brand new product for review and in today's video we are going to review an air purifier by Xiaomi which is the Xiaomi Mi Air Purifier 3 which is their latest air purifier in the market and today we are going to review that product so let's get down to the review of the air purifier so guys this is the Mi Air Purifier 3 this is the latest version of the air purifier from MI which is available in the market so today we are going to review this product so let's start off with the review first of all let's see what all is available on this product the first difference that we can see from the MI purifier 2 is that this one has a LED display right here in the front there's an LED display available here with a touch button so that is one difference that we can see from the looks of it the remaining everything as per aesthetic remains the same it has the same section suction vents and the same air delivery vent here right on top uh, another thing that is different here if you look on the back side we have since there's an led display we have a display brightness control button here to like put the display on and off right uh, here is the sensor for the temperature and the humidity sensor which checks the temperature the room temperature and the humidity in the room what we have here is a laser particle sensor these are the sensors for the laser particle sensor here right here which is available here this is a laser particle sensor and then on the back side we have a place where we can actually open the back of it right here now let's see what is inside so if you look inside there is a through HEPA filter which is here and to remove the HEPA filter you just need to pull this thing here that is available here and the filter comes out so this is a through HEPA filter now this has three layers of filter in it basically the first layer uh, catches all the big dust particles in it uh, then there's a through HEPA filter inside it which basically filters all particles dust particles, allergens and stuff which are as small as 0.03 microns in size and then there's a carbon filter if you look inside there's a activated carbon filter as well this black color thing is activated carbon filter which actually filters out all the odors odor and stuff in the air so it let, makes your room feel fresh as well right so this is the true HEPA filter that comes with it so there is a RFID chip inside this so do not remove this tag that is what is mentioned here you can see this there is an RFID chip inside please do not remove this tag okay uh, so yeah this is the filter that is there inside the air purifier 3 now let's see what all can we see inside here yeah so from here we can see inside there is a place for the fan from where so how it works is basically it sucks in the air from the side vents here available on all three sides here and it sucks in the air from the room and basically it filters it using this filter and this filter gets attached here right so all the particles and stuff get filtered in this filter and then there's a fan which keeps pulling out all the air all the filtered air is again released back into the room from this fan here so that is how it works this also has a particle sensor here and here we can open it from here you can see here okay perfect so here we have opened the particle sensor this is a laser particle sensor which is there we just opened it right now to show you so this is a laser particle sensor here that is there in the mi uh, which basically you can clean you can open it and clean it so with the help of the laser particle sensor it is able to 
find uh, minute dust particles which are there in the room so you just need to push it from here you need to put your finger and push it out and this thing comes out so this is a laser particle sensor okay so you just put it back into its place and then press it back so it's in its place now this is a power cord that we get with it so you need to attach the power cord right here below the purifier now one thing that i didn't like about it is the power cord is too small it's around a meter and a half long but if you want to keep the air purifier like in the center of the room and it's difficult to have a power point there right so i just wish that the power plug or the power cord was a bit longer like they should have given around three meters of power uh three meter length power cable because this is quite small right say if i had to keep it on the ground and if my like my sweet board right now you can see is at a height so this i can't i can't actually keep it on the floor i'm not able to keep this purifier on the floor at the moment because of this short wire so that is one downside of it right so that is the only negative thing about it I feel. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to replace the filter. Say you just need to put the filter. It's very simple. You just need to push in the filter here. And it's done. It's, it's in its place. So you can hear the click sound and it, it won't move easily until you pull it out. You'll hold the click sound and it's in its place. So you just need to put the filter back in. And then you can put the back link back. So this is the so now you saw how it works. Basically, it has a filter inside. There are vents on the sides through which the air is sucked in by the air purifier. By the air purifier, it goes through the filter and clean air is released from this fan here. So from the this vent on top, the cleaner is released. You can see the MI branding here as well on the vent. So let's go ahead and quickly switch it on. I will I will talk about the different modes that are available. So after I power on, the MI logo comes and it goes away. Now I have to just here is the touch button available. So I just need to touch it start so now it is showing the filter remaining 94 percent basically 94 percent of the filter is remaining say i have already used six percent filter so when you buy it new it shows 99 percent but since i've been using it over a month now it is showing 94 percent uh now what are these values being shown so this is the pollution index which is being shown here the first the biggest number that we can see on the display is the pollution index the pm2 index which is here which is the particle matter index index uh, so that shows here uh, next thing it shows you is the numbers here is the current temperature the current humidity and is it connected to wi-fi oh it just went off is it connected to Wi-Fi and what is the mode it's on right now so there are five different modes in this currently it's running on auto mode and when it's on you can see that the fan is moving so the fan is moving and it's releasing pure air right now purified air so yeah so now we'll show you all the different modes available in it so right now since the pollution index is quite low it's 13 so there's no not much polluted air in the room right now that's why the pollution index is very low and hence the fan speed is like right now we are on the auto mode so the fan speed is also running low because the pollution index is low if this pollution index keeps going high the MI purifier when in auto mode will automatically increase the fan speed and it will keep adjusting that so let's see the next mode that we have here is a sleep mode in the sleep mode the fan speed is slow 
so that it doesn't make much noise it doesn't disturb your sleep so it's barely audible like you can you can not hear the sound of the fan when it's in sleep mode it is that silent right then the next one is the low speed mode in which the fan speed is on low and there's very little fan noise and you can actually feel the fan air at like say for about an inch you can feel the fan air now when i switch it to medium now you can feel the fan air up to uh, like a uh, one feet of height i get my hand at one feet and i can feel the fan air right here so now and you can actually hear the sound of the fan as well now i'm moving to the next mode which is high speed and now the fan noise levels also go high and the throw of the air is around 2 feet 2 feet of height and in my head 2 feet and i can still feel the air so it is that powerful it's the fan mode at high speed right now so this is high speed so it will quickly bring down the when you run it on high speed it will quickly bring down the pollution index so we were on 13 and now in this heat has come down to 7 and again if i press it it goes on to to a uh, favorite mode which is basically set using the app so you can use the mi home app to actually set your favorite mode as well and you can also use it to schedule the on off timing for this mi app or fire so yeah it works with the mi home app and now i press it again it will go to the auto mode Well, it will auto adjust the fan speed based on the uh, pollution index in the room. So you can see right now the pollution index is low. That's why the fan speed has become low. So yeah, that is all the features that are available in it. Uh, yeah, we spoke about the uh, particle sensor, which is right there behind the small particle sensor, which basically. senses if there is any dust particle in the air and automatically increases the speed the suction power of the air purifier so yeah uh, this is very useful in homes basically where the pollution index is high like especially in cities like delhi mumbai where the pollution index is quite high this is more of a like a necessity nowadays especially in delhi where the pollution index is nothing lower than 150 so it has become like a necessity in delhi even mumbai is reaching at that point of pollution where the pollution index is reaching 120 130 on a daily basis right so uh, in such situation you really need an air purifier to keep away from allergens and stuff uh even you all will notice like when you all while cooking if you are frying something in the house if you are frying some food or giving tadka and that time you always see the air pollution index the particle index rising up to as high as 300 400 and then you'll put this thing on and it will quickly like as soon as the frying is done it will quickly bring down the air pollution index within a few minutes back to normal so that is how effective this air purifier is So it's one of the best air purifiers available in the market. Uh, talking about the power consumption, the power consumption of the MI uh, air purifier three is less than that of a tube light, right? So it just consumes forty eight watts in twenty four hours, <coughs> which is very low than a tube light, lesser than a tube light. So it is very power efficient. so you do not have to worry of high electricity bills like say if you even if you run it for 24 hours in a day uh the mi uh, air purifier 3 is compatible with the mi home app as well it has three layers of filtration like i told you all there's a big particle filter there's a true hepa filter and there's a 
activated carbon filter as well so that is the net it has an led display to tell you about the info the same info is available on the mi app as well when connected to it so yeah it has loads of loads of loads and loads of features to purify the air it has various modes to purify the air so yeah it's a very good product here and it comes in a budget as well like today if you go to buy an air purifier from branded branded companies it will cost you in the range of 15 to 20 to 30000 but the mi air purifier 3 is placed at a very competitive rate of just rupees 10000 and it's available on for 10000 on amazon that 999 on amazon the mrp of the product is 12999 but it is available on Amazon for 999. Also, the HEPA filter, <coughs> the cost of the HEPA filter is around 199, 1999, 1999, which is close to 2000 bucks. Uh, which is a investment for a year, six months, which runs for six months, which is good for six months to one year. It runs between the period of six months to one year, it will last you for six months to one year depending on your usage again if you are using it 24 hours daily it will definitely last you for six months if you are using it for few hours it will definitely last you around a year so yeah guys that is about the mi air purifier 3 from xiaomi so guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos and if you want to purchase the MI Apple Fire 3, the link to buy it is in the description below.